Some new 3D printing accessories and goodies from Temu. Today we'll take a look at them and let you know just how well they did. It's all in today's video, it's coming up next. What's up everyone, back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dead. First and foremost, I wanna thank you so very much for stopping by and watching today's video where today we are gonna be taking a look at some new 3D printing accessories and goodies that I was able to pick up from Temu. It's it, it's Temu, right? Timu, Temu? No, it's, it's Temu, the commercial said so. Temu. But anyways, I am no stranger to working with Temu. I've got a bunch of uh, different 3D printing accessories in the past that have worked out absolutely awesome. Uh, so when they reached out to me, I was super, super excited to get this little goodie bag here. And today we're gonna check out each and every one of these accessories and let you know just how well they did. So if you happen to catch that YouTube short, I did drop a quick one that basically just highlighted everything that was included uh, in the bundle from Temu. We got some cool filaments, a couple other accessories and goodies. I'm gonna showcase them and let you know just how well they did. And make sure you check to the end of the video as I will supply you with a coupon code. So if you are interested in getting any of these, you can get them at a fantastic price, courtesy of yours truly. Starting off with this package, like I said, I did get some awesome filaments. Uh, the first filament I, of course, jumped right to was the silk filament that I was really excited about. Uh, it shifts from red to black. I decided to print a Deadpool bus because who isn't printing Deadpool stuff uh, these days. Came out really awesome. Most impressive thing was uh, it was printed at 500 millimeters per second and uh, still came out really awesome. Uh, it's a testament to the printer that I printed it on, the CR10 SE and obviously uh, the filament itself. So overall the bus came out pretty awesome. Next up was testing the Black Pet G and I didn't have a ton to print with this. Uh, this was more of a, I guess, functionality test. I know I gotten some Pet G in the past from companies I really wasn't familiar with and it didn't really hold up that well. So uh, I printed a little sponge holder <laughs> for my wife. Uh, I guess she kind of appreciated that. Uh, but then I printed a bottle opener. Uh, I figured that was a really good way to test how strong the Pet G was. I printed it with 25% infill on a gyroid and it actually worked really well. I popped some soda or pop, whatever you wanna call it, uh, open for Darkwing Z and of course he devoured it, but uh, it actually held up. I used it again last night and it's still in one piece. So definitely a good sign there. I will print more things with this down the road. Obviously I'll keep you guys up to speed. So far it printed really clean. Uh, there wasn't any issues uh, as far as retraction or clogging or anything like that. Overall, pretty good Pet G at a pretty awesome price. Next, I had a smaller spool of rainbow PLA, uh, so I decided to print Darkwing Brie, a little organizer for her desk. Uh, and she was actually super excited for it. Unfortunately, I ran out of filament because I was printing her one friend some keychains, and then after the keychains, it popped into my head that I was going to make this for her. So I had to print the drawer uh, in another filament that I had printed it on my K1 Max. It came out absolutely awesome. She was super pumped for it. It's a really cool shifting color. I know a lot of people look for those... Uh, you know, those rainbow PLAs because maybe you have, uh, you know, like a hobby shop or an Etsy shop or something and that cool transitioning, that shifting color uh, looks really cool. Uh, printed really easy. Printed this one at 15% infill. Very sturdy, very nice. She was absolutely thrilled to have it in her room and at her desk now. The last filament I tested out was one that really came out the absolutely best. So this was a uh, black sparkle PLA and this stuff just came out wild. So the first thing I printed with it, I actually designed a holder uh, for my new watch that Mrs. DW got me, big shout out. And uh, came out really awesome, printed super smooth, but then I was like, okay, I wanna print something a little bit better. So uh, I printed not one, uh, but two Spider-Man busts. And this filament came out absolutely awesome. The goal was to kind of replicate the black suit Spider-Man and Amazing, uh, 0.2 layer height, no clogs, uh, very minimal stringing. Again, printed on my CR10 SE at 500 millimeters per second. You can't even see layer lines. And again, that's attested to a great filament and a great pronator. Really, really awesome. I'm gonna print a lot more stuff with this. You know, I, I highly recommend checking out some of Temu's filaments because, you know, some of them I haven't even seen. You know, a lot of people just jump on Amazon or whatever and just buy cheap ones. Pretty much all of Temu's filaments that they have are priced very competitively. You can get one kg rolls, you can get 250 gram rolls if you wanna just try it out. Uh, but they're all very, very fairly priced. A lot of times you can get them a lot cheaper than you can on Amazon. Uh, this particular filament, uh, the Silk, and the Black Sparkle PLA is by a company called Kinzao. I, I've never heard of them, but I definitely recommend them. Make sure to hop on Temu, uh, see exactly what they have, pick it up, and if you do, let me know what you think about it. 
So then of course, after we printed everything and opened this filament, we have to protect it. So uh, if you are a regular to the channel, you know that I live in Florida. I have a lot of humidity. I have a lot of dehydrators, but if we can, I guess, kind of eliminate using them more than we need to, is something that you should definitely do. So I got some vacuum bags from Temu and they worked absolutely awesome. Uh, basically, you just kind of pop it open, throw your filament in there, pop a silica packet in there. Uh, it has a small seal, to pop off, and you put the plunger on and pretty much suck all of the air right out. It literally creates a vacuum where there is no air in there. Uh, it is a little bit tricky trying to transition from the suction device to the seal, but I, what I recommend doing is just doing a couple extra pumps, trying to get as tight as possible. Swap that plunger with the seal real quick, and it'll still give you a real nice tight seal. Uh, the Pet G I know I left in there for a couple days after I sealed it up and it still kept the vacuum really good. Again, these are very, very inexpensive to get on Temu, and if you're trying to get the most out of your filament, again, reduce wear and tear in your printer. Maybe you don't have a filament dehydrator. These are something you definitely want to check out. Now, even though that Deadpool bust did come out pretty awesome, there were some areas where I didn't use supports and you can see here that uh, there's just some overhangs that got a little sloppy. So I got these soldering tips that I am super, super excited to use. And I wanted to show you one uh, in particular. Uh, it kind of looks like an iron. There's times where you try to like clean up 3D prints, but maybe you're using a wedge or a round tip and it ends up putting like divots or craters in and kind of creates more work. Uh, this one I had never seen. I was really excited to use it. And uh, truth be told, after I went through and swapped it on my soldering iron here, went ahead, screwed the old top off, screwed this new one on with the adapter, heated it up, and just kind of, yeah, ironed over it and smoothed it all out. You can see kind of how it looked before. You could see the clumps and just the sagging and the stringing. Uh, here, just going over it, keeping it around 225, 235 degrees, and just a slow ironing, combing motion. Uh, clean the whole thing up. So, you know, these tips here are something that you can definitely, you know, put it on a low heat and just kind of reshape and reform uh, certain areas that maybe, you know, weren't fully supported and you have a little bit of sag. Again, something I am definitely going to use more in, in the future. You will see more of it, uh, but I wanted to show that particular one for you because I had never seen that tip. And truth be told, it came out awesome and restored the print like new. Another cool thing I picked up were some accessory lights. Now, lights are very, very, very important uh, when you are painting your 3D prints. And from Temu here, I got both an LED uh, headlamp and a handheld lamp. It actually has a motion activated on and off. The headlamp itself has two different LEDs, uh, has more of a projector and then more of an LED strip, but all you have to do is turn it on, push the motion activation button, and basically just swipe your hand uh, back and forth to turn on. So that's kind of cool because I know I've used headlamps in the past and you're sitting there you know, feeling for the button and you can't find it. This one, uh, just a quick swipe over the motion activation and it turns it on and it turns it off. Really, really cool. Uh, for people trying to use something a little bit simpler, I did pick up a small handheld one. Uh, basically just charges via USB, uh, foldable. So if you want to collapse it down, throw it in a toolbox or in your pocket or something like that. But uh, definitely something I'm going to be using a lot of. You will see me using it in the videos. Um, you know, having proper lighting when you are finishing is, is is so, so very important. Taking those couple extra minutes, making sure your model is, is, is fully propped and having the proper light is going to pay dividends. It's going to give you a much better end finished result. The last thing that I picked up from Temu that I have not used yet, but I am going to, and you will see why, was a 3D pen. Uh, now, the reason I didn't use this yet is because I recently dropped a video uh, in reference to plastic welding, and I had one of my subscribers say, hey, have you ever done plastic welding with a 3D pen? It works pretty good. So shout out to my subscriber slash viewer, Prodius. I hope I'm saying it the right way. Truth be told, now that I have this 3D pen, I am just waiting for the right project to come along. Uh, I figured it, it would be a good video to do. Again, um, I do like your guys' feedback, so uh, it's something that when you get a, a big package, it's hard to get everything tested and tried in one. So uh, that is gonna be a video that you will see in the near future. So I'm pretty excited to do that. I did check out the pen though. It does look pretty cool. So I'll definitely put that to the test and let you guys know just how well it fares. That's pretty much it guys. I'm at the end of my list here for everything that I got from Temu. Again, this is just more kind of like a quick test uh, that I did. Uh, I've gotten a lot of great things from Temu. I actually printed some of the things uh, from Temu on printers that uh, had upgrades that I had gotten from in the past. Oh, the watch holder that I designed, uh, I actually printed that on my Ender 3, which has a good amount of upgrades that I got from Temu. So Temu does offer a ton of different 3D printing accessories uh, for all your 3D printing needs. Definitely recommend to go ahead and download that app, check out what they have, and if you pick anything up, make sure to tell them DW sent you.
All right, well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Once again, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you did like it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have ever tried Temu and ever picked up any of their 3D printing accessories, whether it be filaments, upgrades, finishing tools, anything they might have, maybe it has nothing to do with 3D printing at all, and you've picked up some cool stuff from there, please go ahead and share your experience with me. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you got and how it worked out for you. Last but not least, if you are a fan of 3D printing and you enjoy all things 3D printing, cosplay, DIY, maybe a little bit of Marvel, Funko Pops, product reviews, things like that, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I have a long, never-ending list of videos coming out here in 2024. So if you like any of that stuff, make sure to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, come back and see me. And of course, once again, thank you so much for Temu for the ongoing support. Of course, download that Temu app and make sure to use my exclusive coupon code right here where you can qualify to get this awesome $100 bundle exclusively through Temu. That's a wrap on this one, guys. Once again, big props out to Temu. Make sure you check them out. Thank you to each and every one of you for stopping by today. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and click the subscribe button. Until next time, it's DW out. Later.